how's it going welcome back to my channel thanks for clicking on another video do i have lipstick on my teeth then? i was just about to do a meal prep and i thought oh i should just grab the camera and show you guys what i'm making it's gonna be pretty simple pretty chill it is the grayest of days i'm so excited for summer like don't get me wrong, I love a winter, but just the grey, that in-between grey season where I can't even express it, it's just grey. The clouds are grey, the streets are grey, just everything is grey. And you know, my hair's already grey, I don't need the weather to be too. But anyway, I digress, let's get cooking. So for this meal prep, you're going to need three ripe plantain, some chicken breast, Butternut squash, I've just got the already prepared mix. Basmati and wild rice. Extra virgin olive oil, uh, and I'll be using coconut oil as well. One red onion, one lime, white vinegar, salt and pepper for seasoning. Other seasoning of choice, I'll be using Cajun seasoning, as well as aromat. And some chicken stock, and some spray light sunflower oil cooking spray. Great calorie saver. Oh, and not forgetting the garlic. You could also totally use fresh garlic, I just can't be bothered. <laughs> All right, so to start, ooh, so to start with, I'm just gonna start cutting everything up. So cutting up the things that I need to cook. So I think I'll start with the chicken. And um, when it comes to chicken breast, I'm not a fan of cooking just plain chicken breast whole in the oven as it is. I think it tastes really dry once you get to the middle while you're eating it. It's just like, okay, enough breast, where is the moisture, you know? So um, today I'm actually gonna fry these. Um, so I'm gonna slice them nice and thin. Um, and then I'm going to season them and fry them and make sure that they stay wet. You can always just adjust how many sims you're making by adjusting how much you use. I generally just wing it. If I'm meal prepping and it ends up being five meals instead of four or three meals instead of five, like it's really not that stress. Um, if I have leftover of one ingredient um, or like too much rice or too much chicken or something, I'll just pop it in a tub anyway um, and then stick it in the freezer and then on another day, maybe I'll make something that will go well with that half filled tub um, and I'll make a meal out of that. So I'm pretty relaxed when it comes to my meal prep. Honestly, I only weigh stuff for you guys. <laughs> like I would not be saying weights if it wasn't for you guys asking. Um, I kind of just eyeball it really. So the chicken is all sliced up nice and small. The onions are also sliced, not so small, a little bit more hacked. And now I'm just cutting up the plantain. So I'm gonna move these to the side as I cut the plantain. Oh, bye Chrissy. As I'm cutting out the plantain, I'm then just gonna lie it on this sheet of um, baking paper in like single file. Oh, that's a dodgy looking one, my bad. And that is when I'm going to get my fry light spray and I'm just going to spritz it all over the plantain until it's nice and moist. I'm going to preheat the grill before popping those under. I've rinsed out my rice. Make sure that you rinse your rice really well so just follow the instructions on whatever rice you're using. Um, so I've rinsed that so it's nice and clean and all the all the grey water is gone. We don't do grey, except for our hair. So I'm just gonna pop a good sized pan on the stove and I'm gonna melt down some coconut oil. One tablespoon-ish, <laughs> if I can of coconut oil and let that melt. So the oil is melted down and I'm going to add in about three quarters of the onions. Apparently cut up, but it's still hanging on together, but whatever. I'm just gonna let that brown nicely. Once the onions are sizzling, I'm then gonna add in my chicken stock pot thing so I'm just gonna pop that open you can use actual chicken stock too this is just easier or you can use vegetable stock if you prefer um, I'm just gonna add that little jelly meister into the mix and stir it up 
the juice of half a lime. Then I'm going to pour the rice in. Honestly, I only added the rice because it was starting to spit and I don't like it when it does that. Add one tablespoon of white vinegar and some garlic powder and stir it up. Some water. Oh, I almost forgot to add some salt. So add some salt and pepper to taste as well. <laughs> I'm going to move on to the chicken. So I'm grabbing some olive oil. I'm going to add a dash of that to the pan. You can also use fry light if you want. Um, completely up to you. Add in the rest of the onions, which I cut a little bit smaller. Um, and the chicken. I'll just brown those. The seasoning. A splash of water as well. is nearly done it's simmering nicely and at this point I'm just gonna add in the vegetables so the butternut squash red pepper mix and I'm gonna stir that through we basically leave the plantain to get nice and brown on one side on a high heat then we'll flip them over um, and brown them on the other side so so good Oh, yes. And the chicken is done too. Mmm. Tastes good. Tastes good. Nice and hydrated. Flipping these over. Okay, so it is all done and I'm just going to dish everything up. So I've got my Tupperware here. I don't really weigh things, I just kind of divide them as I see fit. I don't like to overcomplicate things. Feel free to weigh it up if you want, um, but I'm just eyeballing it basically. <laughs> And there we are guys, it is done. Meal preps ready to go. I can honestly say this rice is delicious. This is so good. I'm actually gonna eat one of these for dinner right now. It tastes so, so good. That is all done. Five meals ready for the week. Okay guys, so that is it for today's meal prep. Thank you so much for clicking on another video and tuning in. You can find the full write-up of this recipe in the description box of the video or head over to my Instagram if you want first dibs on all these meal preps because I always story, I post on my Instagram story when I'm doing these. Um, and don't forget to join me on there for loads more workouts and healthy lifestyle tips. If you want to see more Meal Prep Mondays, then simply let me know in the comments. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. Let me know if you try this recipe as well and share it with me. Tag me in a picture. I would love to see. Love to know what you guys think. It is so, so good. I ate a load of the rice just after I finished cooking it. Really, really good. <laughs> and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.